How's it going, everyone? My name is Jinji, and welcome back to some Forza Horizon 3 for another episode of Forza Science. Today, we are going to be finding out which is faster, a built, naturally aspirated motor or a built turbocharged motor. Here's the plan. We've got three cars, a Nissan 370Z, a Toyota GT86, and a Mazda RX-8. For each car, we are going to be turbocharging it and running it in the quarter mile and the mile to see what kind of times it can get. And then we will be taking off the turbo and building the motor naturally aspirated to the same power level that I had when it was turboed and then running it again. We've got a six cylinder car, a four cylinder car, and a rotary car so that we can test this with different motors. Every single car also has race tires and in order to limit driver error, I'm making it manual instead of manual with clutch. So, let's go ahead and get started and I'll show you guys what we're doing. First thing we are going to do it. oh. There's no single turbocharger. Okay, here we have our stock Nissan 350Z, and we're gonna go ahead and uh, single turbo it. Now the single turbo is making 344 horsepower, 328 foot-pounds of torque. And now we are running it in the mile. And let's see what kind of times it can run. We've got like, what, what, what 350 horsepower? Pretty light car. And it's pretty quick. Pretty much the thing we're testing is if it's better to have naturally aspirated power or turbocharged power. You've got turbo lag. You don't have that with natural aspiration, but um, I don't know. And that was a 33.4 on a stock turbo 350Z. And now we are going to do this five times so we get a best time out of five. And cross the line at 33.4 again. Yet again, a 33.4. And looks like that was a little worse. 33.5? 33.6. Wow. All right, one more try. And that was also a little worse, 33.57. So that was five runs with the Turbo 350Z. Best time was a 33.467. So we're gonna go ahead and make it naturally aspirated again and then upgrade it back to 344 horsepower. Oh, oh, oh yes, there we go. 344 horsepower, 328 foot pounds of torque, making the exact same horsepower and torque as the boost. And now we're gonna test the natural aspirated version five times yet again. See if there's any difference. Um, you know what? From what I can tell, feels pretty similar. Maybe a little bit quicker though. I I don't know. I can't I can't tell any difference. But wait, cross the line at 33.1. Wait a second, boys. Oh, 33.2. That that's that's two tenths of a second faster. And try to crossing the line at I don't know. We'll see. And that was a 33.23. And 33.2 yet again. Um, so I'm calling it there, guys. Naturally aspirated for the 350Z, faster. Stock Toyota GT86 with race springs and race tires. And now, with boost. The turbo actually added more horsepower on this car than it did on the V6. That's kind of interesting. I mean, I guess. I don't know. More boost, I guess. So 275 horsepower and 2,746 pounds. All right, mile run in the Turbo 86. Ooh. Oh, the blow valve on this boy is a lot louder. Ooh. <laughs> That's one thing Naturally Aspirated doesn't have. Blow off noises. Oh, that is, I mean, that's a significant consideration. Except not in Forza. 
This actually might be quicker than the 350. Uh, actually, no, no, it's not gonna be quicker. Also, six is overdrive as fuck. That's unfortunate. Looks like that was a 34.9. Ooh, that was a little quicker. 34.8. Ouch. That that was bad. 34.868. A little bit slower than our fastest run. And that was the 34.9. So, looks like 34.835 is going to be the fastest time we can get in the Turbo 86. 275 horsepower and 211 foot pounds of torque with the turbo. And there we go. We are at 275 horsepower. However, interestingly enough, we're making one less foot pound of torque. Why is that? I don't know. And now let's see what it can run in the mile. Naturally aspirated. Doesn't sound as good. And that was a shitty launch. It's just, oh, it's just so boring. Where's the spew? And look at that, 34.7. That was a bad run and it still beat the turbo. Let's do some more. And look at that, 34.4. That was a good run, and that was four tenths of a second faster than the boost. And yet again, 34.4. So, naturally aspirated is yet again faster. All right, let's go ahead and boost this RX-7. Oh yeah, 64 horsepower. Cool. And let's see what it can do in the mile. Oh, the gearing is so long, because 9,000 RPMs. Although it's not actually that long, it just feels long. Okay. Cross the line at 34.5. 34.7 that round. Yeah, not too good. I'm staying in fifth gear. Boom. 34.5. Four, six, eight. That's what I'm talking about. And 34.5. I think we're gonna call it there. 34.4 was the best time. 296 horsepower and 203 foot pounds of torque with the turbo. And there we go. 296 horsepower, 194 foot pounds of torque. And now let's go ahead and see what it does on the model yet again. Oh, it revs a little higher now. That's interesting. Okay. I didn't upgrade cams, but I guess that's because it doesn't have cams. Kind of didn't think about that very well, but um, that's okay. Boom. That was slower than the boost mobile. And. Oh shit. Okay. Well, you know, I was I was kind of excited for turbo winning for one, but no, nope, naturally aspirated just one. 34.3. Boom. 34.4. Okay. One more time. And uh, 34.434. Still faster than boost, but uh, by only three hundredths of a second. So guys, that is going to be it. Everyone already knew that naturally aspirated horsepower is faster than turbocharged horsepower because, well, turbos have weight and turbos have lag. The six cylinder was the biggest engine and thus was able to spool the turbo a little bit quicker, uh, making the gap between naturally aspirated and turbocharged a little bit smaller. That was two tenths of the second. The GT86 was the complete opposite. It was a smaller engine and thus took longer to spool the turbo and thus had a bigger gap between naturally aspirated and turbocharged. The rotary, however, just liked the turbo a lot. I don't know. It was still slower with the turbo than it was with, well, natural aspiration, but just barely. What we've learned from this video is that um, if you're going for a lower horsepower build, uh, make it naturally aspirated before you make it turbocharged. So guys, hopefully you did enjoy today's video. If you did, please make sure to like the video. Um, 
obviously. If you are new, make sure to subscribe, leave any suggestions on what we should do next in Forza Science, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.